Thank you guys so much for joining us for our first graduation of the CPS Academy since 2019. Having you guys back after three long years of COVID brings so much pride. There's no other training that we have had that requires our staff to come to Nashville for two weeks straight. And we know that's a huge strain on your families, on the work that you guys do, but I really want you guys to understand that this is a true investment in you guys as part of our OCS family and employees of the state of Tennessee. Each of you here today represent our most vital component in the fight against child abuse. You're our first line in the OCS family. Each of you brought your attitude and effort to learn and to further your knowledge and your knowledge basis and for which we are very grateful. As you continue to work cases, keep in mind that this is not a job. Honestly, it's really not a career. It is a calling to be of service to Tennessee's most vulnerable population. When facing these challenges, always remember that you can choose to do the right thing for the right reasons with the right heart and everything will be all right. Child welfare is set up to maintain safety, well-being, and permanency for children, but it encompasses so much more when great people such as yourselves commit to a career of selflessness. You never know what a child, a family, community partner, or even a co-worker has been through each day, and I encourage you to always remember to give grace to those around you. Make sure that you find the joy and the laughter in this work. It's hard work, but um, you know there's always something to to find joy in, there's always something to laugh about, really, and y'all probably know that. Don't lose sight of you know what our families are going through. Don't minimize what they're going through. Um, just keep in mind that sometimes we're that beacon of hope. We're the only thing that they have, that glimmer for them to catch on to. So just don't don't minimize your importance and the role that you play in the life of the these children, the families that we serve. I challenge you to do a few things, to set some realistic goals for yourselves. Greet each day with love. Know that we are put in this position for a reason and cherish the opportunity. Be a master of your emotions because there's a lot of emotions that run with all of these cases that we work when we're the first knock on the door. And most of all, you need to believe in yourselves and have faith in all of your abilities that you, that you show. You all are the backbone of this department. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for you all who were able to go out and work with these families every day and saving children. So I hope you all enjoyed your time. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you gave great feedback so that we can continue to make it even better every day. The good you do today will often be forgotten. Do good anyway. Give the best you have and it will never be enough. Give your best anyway. And the final analysis, it is between you and God. It was never between you and them anyway. We as leaders want to thank you. Thank you so much for your commitment, your resilience, your perseverance, and your determination in the work that you do every day. We want to challenge you as Gandhi does. Be the change you want to see in this world. Thank you so much for all that you do for the children and families of Tennessee and we hope you realize that your efforts have not gone unnoticed.